everybody welcome back to the channel the silver crown please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you click that notification bell next to the subscription button so that you will know every time I upload so today video. I want to talk about different moisturizing methods for naturals yeah there's different methods <laughs> in case you didn't know that yet all right so let's talk about that for a minute the first thing I want to talk about is what what naturals usually call the LOC method and that's liquid oil and cream now I tried this method and it's okay but I think what I was doing when I first tried this method several several months back is I was using the wrong type of oil and if you remember, I did a video uh, a few weeks back talking about the different types of oil, penetrating oils and sealing oils. At the time that I first did the video about uh, dealing with chronic dryness is what the video is called, I was using the LOC method, the LOC method. But I did not know uh, that I was using the wrong uh, layering method. In other words, I was using sealing oils to try to seal in the moisture, which it did that for a little while. But then if you put a cream on top of that, well, the cream can't penetrate. So what's the point, right? So then there's the LCO method, and that's liquid cream and oil. So you switch uh, the layering method between the cream and the oil. Now, so that's what I'm trying to do uh now, sort of, what I'm doing is what I, actually what I've done is I've switched the oil that I'm using and the and the uh, um, the timing and that I use it. In other words, after I wash my hair and condition it, I don't always deep condition. Now you know I know some people do. I don't always deep condition, but generally speaking, I'll wash my hair. I'll condition it. Rinse the conditioner out unless I'm using a conditioner that can be used as a leave-in or a rinse out. Then, of, of course, I'll leave it in. And then I will put on a cream, some type of a styling cream. And then I'll put on an oil or, or I'll leave the leave-in conditioner on. I'll put the oil on, a penetrating oil. Then I'll put on the cream and then a sealant sometimes. So what I'm doing is I'm experimenting to try to find out which way gives me the longest time of holding moisture in my hair. Now, so last night, yesterday I washed my hair, or day before yesterday, I washed my hair. And I decided, let me go ahead and try, uh, I put the, um, the conditioner and then I did the melanin uh, penetrating oil. And then I put the melanin cream. And that was it. I didn't even put a sealant on it. And it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. It's still moisturized. So that might work better for some of you. The other thing I want to say is that if you're, uh, if you're low porosity, um, you really have to be careful what oils you are using to put on your hair because your cuticles are shut tight. And if you put oil on top of that, it's going, you're going to have a really hard time with dryness. So anyhow, that's my two cents on it. So right now, uh, you know, this is what I did yesterday or today, this morning, to just try to see how it's going to go. Now, my hair dries out very quickly. I don't care what I do. It just dries out very quickly. I can go maybe two days without having to moisturize it. And for me, a misting bottle, well, it may work. It may not work. Um, mostly, I like to just hang my head over the tub, pour some lukewarm to very warm water over my head, give it a shake, put a sealant on it, and maybe a little bit of, of uh, leave-in and twist it or not you know twist it or just leave it like a wash and go um, or whatever i'm just experimenting with things i'd like to know 
which one you use. Do you use the lock method, the LOC method? Do you use the LCO method? Um, what's your, what's your, I hate to use the word regimen because it can change with the seasons and all that. But what's your habit? What do you do to keep your hair moisturized? Make sure you leave it a detailed uh, thing of what you do in the bottom in the comment section so the rest of us can read it and see what you're doing because maybe there's something we need to try that we haven't tried yet that one of you guys are doing that you say it works great for you and we haven't tried it. Maybe we haven't tried the product or we haven't tried the method that you're using. And also, uh, I saw a YouTube video where a person was asking, you know, is it possible to have too much water on your hair? Is it, is it possible to over moisturize? Yes, it is possible to over moisturize. When you moisturize, um, your hair gets heavier than it normally would be. So it puts a strain on the elasticity of your hair. That's why your hair, when it's like this, it's like this. It's drawn up, it's tight, it's not stretched. And then when you wet it, it starts to go down, right? It starts to relax. Well, because it's stretching. And then it'll go back up. It'll start to draw up. But uh, you can have too much water for a couple of reasons. One is because... Um, the chemicals in your in the water, it depends on where you live, what kind of water you're using, can dry your hair. Believe it or not, water can dry your hair. If your water source has a lot of calcium and minerals and stuff in it, it can dry your hair out. It surely can. So uh, that also affects how the products might work or might not work in your hair. Uh, the other thing is because I said like the elasticity, right? It can You can have a hydro fatigue your hair can just get stretched and stretched and stretched this is why i kind of i kind of frown on and i stay away from putting uh, uh products in my hair a conditioner or some kind of liquid based something and just leaving it in there for hours and hours and hours i don't do that i don't think it's good for the hair it's not natural to the scalp unless you live in a rainforest without an umbrella nobody's hair is wet all the time. So it's not, I, in my opinion, it's not good to, um, to just keep your hair saturated like that for hours and hours and hours. I think it puts unnecessary stress on the hair. It could cause it to get very fragile and just, it can just snap. You know, you pull it and it keeps going and going and going until it just pops. Uh, where it should spring back, it won't because it's too heavy with water. So just keep that in mind when you are doing your moisturizing uh, routine, if I can use that word, and let me know below, let us all know below in the comment section, if you do the liquid oil cream, or if you do liquid cream and oil, or if you do liquid oil cream and more oil, whatever you do, just, <laughs> just, I don't think there's like a holy grail for this. I think it really depends on your hair and, what kind of hair you have, what the texture is, whether it's high porosity or low porosity or whatever, mixed uh, porosity. It takes time to figure it all out. So anyhow, if you think you pretty much got yours figured out, <laughs> just leave it in the comment section below so that the rest of us who are still trying to get it figured out, we'll get it figured Thank out. Thank you for stopping Anyhow. by. I'm so glad to see you guys. I'm so glad our channel is still here. Looking forward to hearing from you. Um, please remember to send in your questions um, for anything that you, any topic or a question you want me to answer on the channel, I'll do my best to answer it for you. But you have to make sure you send it in. Uh, my email address is in the description box. Feel free to write me. I will answer you. I answer every email I get. Every last one of them. I answer them personally. I don't have a secretary that does it. I do have a secretary, but she doesn't do my YouTube channel. So if you get an email back, it, it came directly from me. All right. All right. So I'll see you guys the next time I come on. Make sure you leave your method in the comment section below. And I'll talk to you later. Keep it natural.